Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Moscow on a two-day visit to Russia for the 22nd India-Russia Annual Summit. It is Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first trip to Russia in nearly five years. His last visit to Russia was in 2019 when he attended an economic conclave in the Far East city of Vedziotskov. Following his interaction with the Indian community in Moscow, PM Modi engaged in an informal meeting with President Putin at his residence. The two leaders drank tea on a terrace garden while engaging in a conversation. They then proceeded to take a ride together in a golf cart. Today, a series of events are lined up for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. His day will commence with a community event, followed by a wreathling ceremony at the tomb of the unknown soldier, a memorial dedicated to Soviet soldiers who died fighting Axis forces during World War II. He will then visit the Rosatom Pavilion in VDNKH, an important site showcasing Russia's advancements in nuclear technology. The day will proceed with a restricted meeting at the Kremlin between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Russian President, which will set the stage for delegation talks level talks. These talks are expected to culminate in the exchange of documents. My colleague Rishali with us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Rishali, uh, uh, of course, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has an exhaustive uh, itinerary today. If you could take our viewers uh, through uh, all that is uh, going to take place. Uh, well, this is a very important meeting which is taking place today. Uh, as we know that uh, after three years, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is meeting uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, things to be discussed uh, uh, pertaining to the development of uh, traditionally amicable relations between the Russia and India, uh, 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 as well as the international and uh, other issues. Uh, so certainly this meeting is considered as a very important that, uh, as we know that the Putin uh, uh, had last uh, met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in September 2022 in a summit uh, at the Shanghai Corporation Cooperation uh, Organization in Uzbekistan. Uh, and in 2021, he also travelled to New Delhi and uh, uh, he had a, a, a conversation with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So uh, certainly uh, uh, today's meeting is very important because a uh, lot of things... Uh, uh, will be discussed. The annual India-Russia summit uh, is taking place uh, after the three years uh, and that is the reason why it's very important. Uh, 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 the issues uh, of uh, early discharge of Indian nationals who have been uh, misled into the services of uh, uh, Russian army is also expected to figure uh, in this discussion, so which is very important and uh, having a concern uh, for the Indians. So uh, this meeting is considered as very important as we know that Putin is going to host a private dinner from, from uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, on this uh, arrival and uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's interaction uh, would uh, definitely conclude uh, with uh, uh, the Indian diaspora in Russia. So today's uh, uh, meetings are considered as very important and uh, uh, you know, a lot of things will come out of these meetings. All right, Trishali, thanks for joining us on the broadcast, sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is Mr. Robinder Sajdev, international affairs expert. So thank you so much uh, for taking our time this morning and speaking to us on NewsX. Now, in your uh, assessment, how significant uh, is uh, this meeting, the fact that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has gone to Russia after a span of five years, especially now that he's taken oath for the third time? How significant is it? Hi, thank you. Good morning. Uh, Yes, it is significant. I think, I mean, all your viewers and you have been uh, covering this and uh, I think everyone realizes it's hugely significant for multiple reasons. Mm. Uh, one, India needs to get and Russia needs to get closer to each other for our own mutual self-interest. It's not in our interest that Russia goes into the orbit of China and it is in Russia's interest that it has a heavyweight partner which can counter the partnership of China with Russia. Otherwise, China-Russia will be unequal. So that's the context here. Overall, uh, extremely important also because, you know, the world of today is under construction. It's a matrix being made. Countries are defining their interests more clearly, making more partnerships, you know, fine-tuning their national interests. So the West 
the US is watching us. US is a very good close partner of ours, uh, strategic one, and we need the US as a partner without doubt, and the US needs that. But I think US and the West is learning also now to adjust to India. They're realizing that India has its own, you know, aspirations, its own destiny towards it, towards which it works. Uh, so there will be calibrations. Our relations with the US will go on good. The last point I'll make is that if there could be some, you know, huge announcement coming out of this, this itself is huge and, uh, you know, relevant and impactful. But could there be some huge uh, announcement coming out of these partnerships? The last few days I've been thinking and I have a thought, uh, a thorium partnership between Russia and India. Right, absolutely. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.